Banking Integration Add-on, Simplify and Automate Banking Process in SAP Business One. The Banking Integration Add-on was developed with the purpose of helping our customers in their workflow with their banks, facilitating generation of electronic payments and importing and processing bank statements into SAP Business One. The Payment Proposal module is a plugin that allows the creation of electronic bank statement files, such as a bank transfer, which can be imported into the bank application, multi-cash or internet banking. Payment proposal module can be accessed by going to Banking, Banking Integration, Payment Proposal. As in any other SAP Business One document, the Payment Proposal document allows you to add, find, or navigate through the already created documents using standard SAP Business One menu buttons. Let us add a new one. Notice the document number which is the next number available in the series. The document status set by default and open. We're filling in the posting date and the document date, which is the date when the document will be processed by the bank. In the documents remark field, we may fill in any other information we consider relevant to the current document. In order to add unpaid documents from suppliers, we need to press the Add Lines button. This will open the Payment Selection Criteria window, where we may fill in the supplier code, either one supplier code or a range of supplier codes. The document type, which can be either AP invoices and journal entries, or AP invoices or journal entries. We're going to choose AP invoices, this also including credit notes. Fill in the posting date and the document date, which can be one date or a range of dates for the supplier code introduced above. Press the OK button. Let us have a look at the payment proposal document. We have the first column, transaction number, representing the number of the journal entry. The next number is the transaction entry, representing the transaction number of the journal entry. The journal entry can be accessed by pressing the yellow arrow, just like in any other SAP Business One document. Notice the transaction number and the transaction entry. Let's go back to the payment proposal document. We have the supplier code and the supplier name coming from the original document of the base type represented here and the document type mentioned. We have the base number representing the number of the invoice, base reference one and base reference two coming from the journal entry. We have the base currency representing the currency of the document. the amount column where we have the total of the invoices, open amount, the amount open for the invoice, paid currency, the currency in which the payment will be done. Notice that the currency column has a white background. This means that the value can be changed. Or we'll just leave it like that. We have the paid amount, which can be smaller than the open amount in case the total amount is not to be paid now. We have the base posting date, base document date, and base due date coming from the original document representing the posting date, document date, and due date of the invoice. We have the house bank IBAN and house bank name coming from Business Partner Master Data Payment System tab representing the IBAN and bank from where the payment is done. We have the supplier bank IBAN and supplier bank name also coming from Business Partner Master Data, Payment Terms tab, representing the IBAN and bank where the payment will be done. Next column is the charges type. Three types, shared charges, beneficiary charges, and 
payer charges. And the document date, which can be copied from the header, but can also be adjusted manually. You can see here that the amounts for the currency of the document have been updated. We would like to add also documents for the Romanian currency and the American dollar. For that, we press the Add Lines button. In the Payment Selection Criteria window, we fill in the necessary information. We press the OK button. We want to add more documents and we press the Add Lines button, opening the Payment Selection Criteria and filling in the relevant information. We press the OK button. So far, we've only added one supplier for the European currency and two for the Romanian currency, but we also want one supplier at least for which the payment will be done in American dollars. So again, we went to Add Lines button, opening the payment selection criteria, filling in the relevant fields, pressing the OK button, And now we have all the amounts updated. In order to add this document, we are going to press the Add button. Let's just pull it from the system. We press the Find button, filling in the document number and any other information we have regarding the payment proposal document we are interested in. And afterwards, we press the Find button. And we've just pulled out from the system the document we just created. In order to generate the files necessary for the bank, we go on the bottom right of the window, pressing the Generate button. System prompts a message informing that the files for the international currencies had been generated on the previously defined path. Same applies for the Romanian currency. We will also be informed that the journal entries for the documents added had been marked as paid, which means next time when we will be making a payment proposal document, these journal entries won't be available. Let's have a look at the documents created. For that, go to the previously defined path. Open one of the documents, we shall choose the Romanian currency document. Notice that it complies with the standard bank file format. Same applies for the international currencies document. The payment proposal document is similar in user interface and functionality with any other SAP Business One document. It allows us to add, find, update, and navigate through the already created documents. It keeps a history of all payment proposals generated from SAP Business One, allows payments to multiple banks to be generated at once. It generates the files according to the format and structure required by the bank allows you to easily navigate and drill down through the open purchase invoice and credit notes by date for a correct balance due. It filters by certain suppliers or documents. It can generate both full and partial payments and supports multi-currency payment. Supplier consolidation is allowed where payment is generated per supplier rather than one payment per invoice. And you can also define maximum payment amount. The banking integration add-on was developed by System Innovation Romania. For more information, please contact our team.